and welcome to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart. What the hell is going on today? Guys, it was recently brought to my attention that I just had my five year uh, Y Dad anniversary. Woat woat. So I thought it would be a shame if I didn't put up a video this week, but fuck man, making drinks in hotel rooms are hard. I've made drinks in bathrobes in hotel rooms using a um, ironing board as the bar top and that shit is janky as hell. Instead, I thought I would just do a video where I'm talking to you and maybe turn it into a q and A. I I do this over on my other channel, Mame Town, called Mask Me Anything, but I thought I'd mix it up here and instead call it a q and blah day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get in my body. Mm. You fucking hottie. Mm. So, I went on my Tumblr and asked for questions and let's just rock it out. You might be completely pissed off and just raging with anger that this isn't a traditional why dad. And you know what, to that I just say, baby, there's so many bigger problems in the world than this. <laughs> just watch something else. Who gives a shit? All right, here we go. The first ever Why Dad Q and Bladé. Bladé sounds like a 90s Sade singer or like Sade's younger sister that didn't get the hits but was always her backup singer and like was really jealous and just hated Sade. Oh, Bladé. Oh, Bladé. Oh, Blada. Life goes on. This might be strong. Tumblr user Ty Ty asks, will you sit on my face? I have an idea. All right, dude, I just went down to the business center of this hotel and printed your Tumblr profile page, and so now I'm going to sit on your face. Is it as good for you as it is for me? Wow. This is amazing. I'm done. Thanks. Brulisi says, thoughts on musical theater? You know, I did musical theater back in high school. I did Gypsy. I did some other shit. And then I even did Rocky Horror, the, the stage show, not like just at the movie theater uh, in college. Um, but musical theater isn't something I'm gonna like seek out. It's something that I like doing, but not watching per se. It's a lot like making love. I would like to participate in it, but I don't want to watch other people do it. It makes me uncomfortable, it gives me douche chills, and um, I just leave feeling kind of gross. However, if you got tickets to Hamilton, send them my way because that's a pop culture reference that I want to be able to know what the hell people are talking about. Trashboy64 asks, when was the last time you were hungover? <clears throat> Because like you drink loads, you must be used to it. Well, I know the last time you were hungover, Trash Boy, was the morning after you woke up from writing that. Because, motherfucker, you can't spell. You know, when was the last time I was hungover? Hmm, huh. probably like three sips ago. Thank you, girl. Sparkly Dinosaur Poo. <laughs> you guys and your Tumblr names are just so dumb. What's your number one ship? Oh, this can really, really like polarize people. But I'm gonna say my favorite ship. It's One Eyed Willies from The Goonies. Fangirl of Too Many says, what are your top five songs this week? Love ya a ton, P.S. Hashtag flame ring forever. <laughs> top five songs this week. You guys, I don't listen to anything new. You know, I've been listening to a lot of stuff, so I will say not songs specifically, but my top five, like, you know, streaming stations have been ACDC, Van Halen, Ludacris, who else? Nelly. <laughs> I love that Saint Lunatic. And George Clinton. Alexandra Fowler asks, have you found a vegan mac and cheese yet? Okay, here's the deal, guys. I don't think science has caught up with the evolution of people's minds who have become higher beings and realized maybe you don't eat dairy all the time. I have not found a good vegan mac and cheese, but I'm on the hunt for it. And when I do find it, you are going to see it because let me tell you about a little something. 
I am going to tell you about an app that um, Ingrid Nielsen and Hannah Hart and Grace Helbig and I are all a part of and we're helping launch and I'm very excited about it called Dish. And on Dish you can follow people like you follow on Instagram and see all they're eating. I don't know about you, but if there's an Us Weekly with like scandalous gossip and affairs and all that jazz, I don't care. But if it says, hey, check out Jessica Simpson's diet, I will full on steal that magazine if I don't have money. I love seeing what people eat. I love the Food Network. I love food blogs. So the app Dish, I've been uploading things I'm eating. I travel a lot. A lot of you guys are like, what do you eat? Because you're vegan and you're a drunk. Well, it turns out I eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of alcohol. But sometimes, that's frowned upon on Instagram. Sometimes a beautiful bowl of ramen gets scoffed at. So now I have a place to post all that stuff and I think you guys should go download it and use it. And also, besides just using it, you know, like a social thing to see what other people are doing, you can also look up restaurants that are nearest to you and see real pictures of them. And it's just a helpful app. So I put a link below of the link to, you know, go follow me. Guys, I wanna have more followers than Grace and Hannah and Ingrid. Could you imagine? What an underdog. Actually, I took a picture of that Bloody Mary before we started filming, and I'm on Dish It right now. So go on Dish and comment on that picture that this is where you saw it. And I'm a robot. Jill says, you should continue to wear hats. They look really great on you. Go on. Levy me alone. Levy me alone? Asks, would you or Hannah and Grace ever do a college tour type thing? Maybe one of your shows at FSU. Cough, cough. First of all, leaving me alone. Thank you for telling me to leave you alone since you're obviously sick based on those coughs. Um, I think I'll answer this question in the form of a gif. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do y'all remember how great his Oscar speech was? Holy smokes. Katie Jane 304 says, where's that February naw? <laughs> okay guys, I know I established the National Asinine Holidays and then on the second month I dropped the ball, but I have had some personal life shit going on and so you're just gonna have to give me a free pass on this one and then the next one I'll be coming out of the gate, flying colors. Speaking of, the next not National Asinine Holiday is March 25th. And it's throw a tiny parade down your block. Now comment below if you want me to throw the parade, show you the video on the day, or myself have a parade, you guys send me clips of yours, and then I do like, you know, a wrap up of all of it. Look, I'm trying new things on this channel. A Q and Blood A, the National Asinine Holidays, the toast. I mean, look, I'm just starting out. I've only been doing this for five years. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna stick. Hopefully you guys around and watch this shit because don't take this away from me. I really like my life. All right, well that's the first ever and hopefully not the last. You guys tell me if you like this and if you don't like this, just go watch something else. <laughs>